Look at it. Spin, double dribble, dunk the ball. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. If you look up the highest points per game average in a single NBA season, you're going to see three names. Well, a whole lot of Wilt Chamberlain, then you're going to see Michael Jordan, and then you're going to see James Harden. So I figured I got all three of these players' builds. Why don't I bring my Michael Jordan build, my James Harden build, and my Wilt Chamberlain build to the 1v1 rush. Three players with three different play styles, but all all-time great scores. Now for the first hour of this video, I'm gonna be responding to every single comment. So if you wanna ask me a question or you wanna just say something to me, just comment it down below in the first hour that I dropped this video and I'm responding to everyone. Also while you're down there, drop a like for your boy. I know the game's a little dry, but hey, we still got some bills to pay. First up with the seventh highest points per game average in a single NBA season, we got James Harden averaging just over 36 points per game in his 18-19 season with the Houston Rockets. So we're going in here, we got our left-handed shot creator build, you guys know this build, six foot five, literally a perfect James Harden build. Right off the rip, we got this man in a torture chamber. Cross, cross, drive in, spin back. Dude is out of bounds on the baseline. That's how bad he just got cooked on that play. Curry slide, cross, cross, drive in. We're gonna do a little floater just cuz, just having some fun, man. You know what I mean? Just, just messing around with him. Behind the back, cross, curry slide, wide open, pull up. It's already 9-0. We're about to have our takeover and it's gonna be a wrap. Look at run this way, hop jumper, step back, pull up. Next, we're going to the sham god crossover quick stop top of the key pull up and this is when we really start to mess with him all right so step back behind the back hop step to the side green that one so that's 18 to 0 now we're going curry slide crossover drive in wide open floater that you know man, whatever but here's where it gets ugly step back crossover spin back crossover spin back crossover curry slide crossover big crossover <laughs> All right, so that's game number one, 23-0. James Harden out here gets the first win on to game number two. The only thing between us and a spot in the semifinal is this guy. So right off the rip, I guess he thinks a legend shot creator can't shoot because he literally just stands in the paint and we pull up wide open and knock it down. Next possession, I'm going to see he's starting to pick up a little bit, so I'm going to go crossover drive baseline, go up with the left hand. It's James Harden. Come on, man. You know, inside, outside, mid-range, floater. It doesn't matter. Dude is just a straight bucket. Check it out. This way, snatch back, step back, cross, curry slide, step back, pull up, knock it down. Now he sees I'm green and everything, so he's basically just pressing the mess out of me now. So we're just going to start rim running, just straight rim running, because if you're going to guard me that tight, it is what it is, man. We're going straight to the basket, all right, every time. So crossover, get to the hoop, a little park dunk, you know, especially now he sees the sharp takeover. He's going to play real tight, so we just go hezzy, drive in, park dunk yet again. And you're going to see more of the same, just basically him playing super tight. Like even right here, I get the crab, look at sidestep, I got the crab, but I'm going to drive in there. Take, take, take the for sure bucket before he gets some block from behind or something lucky, you know, hezzy, drive drive in another dunk and rinse and repeat all right so yeah again he's just giving up straight dunks that's 19-0 and uh crossover get to the hoop and uh yeah that's ball game game number two in the books on to game number three drippy face scan lebron beard super saiyan hair this man is all over tiktok tutorials on how to make that face creation and he's doing the same thing i guess they just don't think i could shoot so green green all right now he just completely stopped playing so we get the dunk wide open green wide open green and uh yeah wide open green if you didn't you know get the memo but it's james harden we got to draw a foul before we get out of here so you know we get the free throw line but there's no free throws and wide open so spin jumper and that is ball game game number three in the books three w's on to the finals so first look at my opponent, I'm like, all right, this dude's just another typical slasher on the ones court. And I already see his defense is not all that. Like I'm out here cooking, look at spin move, crossover, got him to jump, drive in, got him to jump again. <laughs> so I'm gonna just run it out. He's just jumping like crazy. So in my head, I'm like, this dude is just not very good. You know, like he's getting cooked. Like I'm doing floaters for no reason. I'm literally trolling at this point. You know, when you could just feel that someone can't guard you. I mean, look at spin move, snatch back between the legs, run this way crossover easy dunk we got takeover now we're gonna just go momentum crossover curry slide pull up wide open green 14 to 0 same thing rinse and repeat momentum crossover curry slide pull up it's white but we knock it down and then i do this i shoot a full bar and he gets the rebound but honestly i'm pretty good at playing defense against these types of players he gets a center layup hop step contact dunk so i'm like okay i'm gonna get a stop eventually but then he starts doing this I don't know if y'all caught it. This man is double dribbling on me. He picked up his dribble, 
did a spin move. Look at hop step. What am I playing against? This man is literally glitching the game. Contact dunks on me. Hop step centers the layup yet again. I don't know what I'm playing against at this point. Lays it up over me. Just like that, he has 20 points. 20 to 17. But check this out. James Harden with the clutch defense. Yes, you heard that right. James Harden with the clutch defense. Run past him, lay. Run past him, lay. 21, 20. Hezzy, 360 between the legs dunk. We win it. I don't even care, bro. We get out of there. Fourth win. We get the dub. That dude was literally cheating. Next up with the fifth highest points per game average in a single season, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. In the 86-87 season, he averaged just over 37 points per game. And now we have a completely different play style. We have Michael Jordan, contact dunks, athleticism, great mid-range player, switching it up from James Harden, who we were out there shooting a lot of threes, right? So first game we're playing against a big man, he doesn't respect it. You have to realize, MJ is one of the best mid-range players we have ever seen. I decided to go with the young MJ look you see here with the hair. We didn't, we, you know, we didn't go with the bald MJ like normal. But look at young Mike out here. After hitting a couple mid-ranges, our opponent finally decides to step out. We go up and one, finish the layup through the contact. That's, that's just classic Jordan. Just dominant around the rim, dominant mid-range player. But it's not just the mid-range and the paint. You could do it all on this build, man. Curry slide, pull up from three, knocking it down. You know, he's just not respecting it. At this point, he gave up. He, he was just letting me shoot, and then he just gave up, as you can see. So we just shoot another three. Bang, that's 20 to zero. He gave up, so we say, you know, let's just go get another dunk, and that's game one. The amount of people that quit in this game mode, in this rush 1v1 event, it, it was crazy to me. But game number two, we're playing against a lockdown defender now. But as you can see, ankle breakers going crazy, double pump finish. It's already 10-0. Blow buys with the slasher takeover. The dude has absolutely no chance. So we're just gonna finish this gameplay up. Look at spin back. I'm just I'm just toying with him at this point. Little windmill, switch hand finish, whatever you want to call it. In and out, drive in, double pump yet again. This lockdown just had no chance. In and out, crossover, right by him, easy dunk. And then we're gonna wrap this thing up with we get a crab, but he ends up running back in front. We do a big hop, tween, curry slide, pull up, knock down the white. All right, so two wins in the book for young Mike. Moving on to game number three. And this game is against another big man, and he's just too slow. This 6'6 six, six slasher build that I made for Michael Jordan, it's literally pick your poison. Like, if you play up, I'm getting a dunk, contact dunk, whatever. If you play back, then the mid-range goes crazy. You can shoot the three pretty consistently. Like, it's it's really just a pick your poison. But even if you go in the paint, I mean, look at, look, look at young Mike, man. Look at young Mike. Crossover drive-in, contact dunk, contact dunk again. 13 to 0 on this dude. Hezzy. Blow-by animations go crazy with the slasher takeover. You guys know what the slasher takeover is all about this point you know what i mean pull up from three it's white but we get it to go that's 18 cross curry cross curry pull up mid-range game goes crazy just like a prime michael jordan three wins in the books and this man is our opponent in the final i don't know what he's wearing and it's not gonna take very long i'm gonna be honest to get him out of here he realizes you know he's just a little play shot and i'm a big six six demigod slasher it's six to two he started with ball but we got to stop pretty quick and uh dunk on him eight zero like literally if this build is not the perfect michael jordan build for current gen i don't know what is pull up green at this point he literally realized he has no chance if he can't stop me in the paint and then now i could shoot too so we run by the computer we win that one four wins in the books easy get him out of there michael jordan no problems at all on to our last contestant last but not least a legend build that i have not shown you guys yet the man that holds not only the first second third and fourth highest points per game seasons in nba history wilt chamberlain the man that averaged 50 points per game in a single season this should be the easiest one you would think right because i'm a post scorer but i'm doing this with no post hooks right no post hooks and you got to realize on this game with the speed glitch it is really really hard to stay with guards but if i get the ball i'm damn near unstoppable in the paint so it, it's give and take it matters who starts with possession who you know gets a lucky stop but right off the rip this dude started with the ball we end up getting the stop we're up 12 and once we get the takeover you know listen i'm gonna speed it up because i don't think it's the most entertaining gameplay just watching me post spin people but we get the first win okay second game we're playing uh, another guard i think 
and look it we're, we're doing a little you know a little bit of post moves and whatnot but i don't want to go to the post hooks because it's just too cheesy but we get the contact dunk we get the post takeover and as i said once we get the take i'm just gonna speed it up because yeah i mean it's still you know they said they took the animations out but i don't know two wins in the books wilt chamberlain this dude right off the rip literally just said yeah i'm not dealing with that he let me score five straight times and then he quit the game we're gonna post spin the computer get the dunk get our third win and just when you think it's gonna be the easiest time ever i see this guy and i could just tell just looking at him i'm like this dude is a sweaty little play shot and i was 100 right an elite one play shot sharp takeover now if i don't give up the ball it's not going to be a problem and we get off to the perfect start i get a two i go to the post spin i get a dunk we're up four zero but then he's going to reach in and make me bobble the ball now i have to chuck something up Wilt was a great rebounder, though. I snag it over this dude's head. I go up, and he actually gets the block from behind. And now we're in trouble. I already know. He's going to be so quick, and he's got a 95 three-pointer. We're in trouble. Behind the back spam, Hezzy, Curry slide, crossover, quick stop, pull up. I'm like, oh, here we go. In and out, behind the back, quick stop, pull up, green. I'm trying my absolute best, but he's got like 30 more speed than me. So it's really, really hard to stay with him. I'm trying to bump him, body him as much as I can. I think he's going to shoot the mid-range, but he runs right past me and gets the lane. 11 to 4. He's one off his takeover. Quick stop, pulls up, bang, takeover. 14 to 4. Trying to reach in, trying to body him, trying to do anything I can to just disrupt him. Hezzy. I start to figure him out a little bit. I get a 1% contest, and he misses. I can't give the ball up. If I give the ball up, it's game over. But I'm Wilt Chamberlain. 50 points per game in a season. 44 points per game in a single season. 14 to 8. Post spin. Go up 14 to 10. I got my take over now. The sharp take is good, but the post take is completely broken. 14 to 12. Post spin. Being patient. Making sure he doesn't get another block from behind. Bullying him in the paint. Cock back left hand tomahawk. Double clutch. Two hand finish. 18 points. Throw him out of the way. Two hand finish yet again. 20, 14. Throw him off the court and get the dub. Four wins in a row. And yeah, that probably wasn't that entertaining, but I tried my best. It's August with a post score in the Rush 1v1 event, all right? Give me some credit. I made that decently entertaining, all right? Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Drop a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.